Last year, towards the end of the year, we received a, a notification from the Secretary of Defense issuing a, an instruction that said that the Navy parachute team, the Blue Angels, the Thunderbirds, and the Golden Knights would continue to be the demonstration face of the military. And he asked us at that time to go to Tampa, Florida to jump into a Monday night football game between Tampa Bucks and the Miami Dolphins. And that was the first time we jumped at the end of the sequestration. Well, the Navy parachute team is made up of mostly parachute riggers. And towards the end of the Vietnam War, the SEALs were coming back from Vietnam and wanting to find more exciting things to do, they decided they would help jump with the Navy parachute team. And in 1974, the SEALs pretty much had taken over the parachute team and called themselves the Elite Claws. The team is made up of active duty SEALs. Um, so we're very unique in that we only take eyes from SEAL teams or uh, NSW units. And then after they do a few years on the team, they'll actually go back to either a SEAL team or a SWIC team. If when you jump out of a plane at 12,500 feet, you will free fall for approximately 45 seconds before opening up your parachute to come in and land. We're not going to jump into a YMCA camp full of thousands of kids unless we know exactly what the winds are doing, exactly how our parachutes pack. Our pre-brief lets us know exactly what our uh, routines are going to be, and then we go through all the contingency plans, and that's for every single jump. One of the things I never get used to is the appreciation people show when you land. Uh, the jumping's all cool, uh, and it's a lot of fun, I enjoy it, but really what means a lot is you land and everyone wants to shake your hand, everyone wants to thank you for your service, and I think that's a testament to the Navy as a whole. Um, you know, you got people out there on six, nine month deployments away from their family, uh, missing the birth of their child. Um, guys are out there working hard, and uh, I think we see a lot of the appreciation, probably more so than the rest of the military. Um, and I think we get a lot of the accolade that, that really is deserving to those guys you know, on the ships, um, you know, overseas, spending those time away with our family. Everybody in the military, during sequestration, you have to wonder just how deep the cuts would be. And it gave us hope that we would make it to our 40th anniversary. And that 40th anniversary, is, it's a milestone for many reasons. Milestone because the team has been 100% supported, 100% man, and 100% jumping for 40 years. And I think something like that is just something we can really hang our hat on and be proud of. We do a lot of public outreach uh, in conjunction with shows. Uh, so a lot of times we'll go talk to kindergarten classes or a high school. Uh, we'll jump into the high school and spend some time talking to high schoolers about opportunities in the Navy. Uh, and we also go to children's hospitals. And it's just neat to kind of give back a little bit. Literally, it's relaxing once the parachute gets open because you're out of the plane. Now you're in control. So if anybody screws it up, it's you. It's myself. And that is, it's not, uh, it's pretty rare that guys are going to get stadium qualified and have issues because we're flying over the city. You're literally going lower than most of the buildings. So if people in condos and their office buildings, we will be flying by their condos and stuff. So that was kind of eye-opening that you look over and you see you know, John sucks and starts working at his desk and looks up and he's like, what in the world are you guys doing? And we're jumping into a stadium to represent the military. Uh, it's pretty awesome.